I asked the question, what is the relation between an experience, the subject of the experience, and the content of the experience? And after getting into various puzzles and tangles, I decided that the best answer was identity. That is, they are literally identical to each other. And this is a very, it is indeed a very difficult idea. Um, it's very hard to accept, and the difficult, most difficult thing, when if you think about an episode, an actual experience, take, imagine a person, there's no experience, and there's a one second period of something really simple like red and then followed by another period of experiences. So you've got this object, an episode or passage of experience and the first thing to do is to go from the noun experience to the, as it were, the participle or the verb and noun experiencing. We have an experiencing. And then the next move is you can't have an experiencing without a subject. Um, but the question is can it doesn't follow from that that you have to think that the subject of experience is fundamentally ontologically distinct from um, the content of the experience. On the other hand, the idea that there's an um, irreducible polarity between the subject problem and the content problem um, is extremely hard to, to dislodge. I actually can't remember right now why why the identity and then said the identity it couldn't be that way. Um, so I think when I think of this one second period of experience, I'm thinking of it as a sort of uh, pattern of activation among millions of neurons and say, this is the thing we've got. We make these distinctions between the subject who has 